Hello from London, this is CSCTV Live. My name is Rafael Vidal Perez from Spain, and it's a pleasure to have with me here the winner of the Young Investigator in Coronary Photophysiology and Microcirculation Awardee. And it's a pleasure for me to present Duigo Kochit from Ankara. First of all, which topic did you research? Uh, our research was uh, focused on the enhanced platelet toll like receptor 2 and 4 expression in acute coronary syndrome patients. And so, which is the role of that toll like receptors? Toll like receptors are the subgroup of pattern recognition receptors, which, is, uh, which has been demonstrated to be uh, responsible for the pathological immune responses in, on the basis of infections. But recently, it has been shown that toll like receptors do also sense. Host, uh, host molecules, uh, so it has been suggested that uh, the uh, role of toll-like uh, receptors on the pathophysiology of atherosclerosis and we investigated the expression levels of these receptors on platelets and the uh, occurrence of atherosclerotic events in, uh, on the basis of plat uh, platelet activity. Okay, and how was this study uh, awarded, was planned? Um, we Actually, uh, the idea first came when we uh, thought of the patients uh, who experienced acute coronary syndrome despite receiving uh, dual antiplatelet therapy. And uh, we just thought about what other mechanisms might, uh, may play a role in this uh, inflammatory cascade. And platelets are uh, known to have vital importance in this process. So uh, we thought of uh, what other inflammatory mechanisms related to platelets ha uh, could have a role. And, uh, toll-like receptor expression, which was recently shown on platelets, uh, made us to work on this issue. And we uh, recruited a study population of uh, three groups, normal coronary artery, epicardial coronary artery, stable coronary artery disease and acute coronary syndrome patients. And we had 120 patients and uh, we, by flow cytometric analysis, we uh, detected the expression levels of toll-like receptors on platelets and uh, both uh, in the three uh, study uh, groups mm -hmm. and we found that the uh, toll-like receptor 2 and 4 expression on, uh, in patients with acute coronary syndrome was higher in uh, the patients with acute coronary syndrome and uh, this, uh, our findings was uh, related on this finding. So the, 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 the main finding that you want to highlight of the study would be in this uh, population? What did you think is the main finding? The main finding is that uh, there, uh, when compared to patients with normal coronary artery disease, stable coronary and stable coronary artery disease, uh, toll-like receptor expression uh, of 2 and 4 was uh, significantly higher in acute coronary syndrome patients, which uh, might have a key uh, point in the pathogenesis of acute coronary syndrome. And this uh, statistically significant high levels were uh, independent from the other traditional cardiovascular risk factors such as hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, smoking or uh, coronary artery disease history uh, in a family. Uh, so uh, it, has, it is uh, significantly higher independent of other factors. Okay. So uh, the higher levels in this study population may have uh, an importance for future therapeutic and also preventional uh, targets. Okay, if you have to summarize which clinical data for the daily practice is important, what, what do you think are the, the main implications for the daily practice? We could, could get for this study in a translational phase. The higher levels which we have detected in the acute coronary syndrome patient population uh, can have the uh, feature, futuristic implication for uh, particularly in this uh, secondary, uh, particularly in the prevention of acute coronary syndromes, uh, some therapeutic, uh, uh, some therapeutic drugs may be developed for blocking the toll-like receptors, and uh, so the uh, sense uh, we could also modify the self ligands for the toll-like receptors, and uh, that can have a, a significant impact on the uh, prognosis of these patients. Thank you, because I think it's a really good research, and for that, for that of this, they you get this award. So congratulations for the award, and thank you for coming to the ACTV studio. Thank you. Thank you.